right now I'm on my way to work on the Spitfire for the second day. I went to Dollar Tree and got a fuel additive and um, and some brake fluid since you know Dollar Tree brake fluid that, that's gotta be good. Um, yeah so I got that stuff. I'm gonna use a brake fluid for the clutch since that's pretty much the same exact stuff. And the clutch master cylinder it's filled up with a bunch of gunk and it's really nasty. So I gotta completely flush it, but yeah, it's about 20 degrees out again. I forgot that it's not supposed to warm up until tomorrow, so it's time to work on it. The first thing I'm doing today is taking off the hood to make it a lot easier to work underneath of it. So, first of all, there's the hood um, strut thing, whatever you want to call it. That's gotta be unhooked. Um, there's a little bit of wiring there that needs unclipped, and there are, there's a bolt there, and one on the other side that needs taken out, and then the whole hood should come up. My camera shut down, I'm not sure how long ago it shut down, so... Um, I got the um, hood support thing, got that taken off, and I got that first hinge unbolted. Now I'm gonna unbolt the second hinge. It's completely unbolted, and I'm going to see if I can find a way to lift this off all by myself. If not, I'll have to have somebody come down here and help me. Yeah, I don't really trust myself um, lifting that up all by myself, so I'm going to call my dad, see if he can come down and help me. My dad said that he, he was able to come down in a couple minutes, so while I'm waiting for him, I'm going to try to get the gas tank taken out. I guess it comes out through the trunk. I'm going to take the whole trunk lid off while I'm at it. It doesn't stay, stay up on its own. And it's, it's already unbolted, so. Well, one side's unbolted. Because there's no nut on the other stuff, but it won't come up. Five minutes later. Eleven minutes later. Well, that's not gonna work. That's good enough for now, I guess. That smells really bad. The gas tank's held in with some half-inch bolts. You know what, this trunk smells like the bathrooms at school. That's exactly what it smells like. It's bad. I'm gonna move the camera over here so you can see what I'm doing. My dad just came and we got the hood removed. So now I'm gonna finish up removing the gas tank. Which... First of all, I need to remove the fuel line from under it. That's 
bolts out. Now I think the only other thing is one more bolt at the top, which I think is a half inch. I really should have brought a headlamp down with me. It's pretty dark in here. And the tip for you guys, um, whenever you're doing anything like like this or something where you have to take a lot of stuff apart or take apart electrical electrical connections or anything, um, just stay out your camera up on your phone, take a picture of it. So now I know which um, which wire goes to each of the things in the uh, fuel tank here. Um, I'm going to get pliers to take that off. I don't want to mess them up by pulling too hard on the wire. It's kind of corroded. I'll have to clean that up. Okay, now that's out of the way. I'm not sure what else is holding it in. Probably the... I was able to wiggle the gas cap and get it out. Still is a little bit of gas left in it. it smells really bad. <laughs> I'm not sure what else is holding it in. No, oh, nothing. For some reason that fuel line does not want to come out. Okay, old gas is spilling everywhere. I need to find a bucket within reach. It's like orange. Last time I checked gas, it was not orange. Um. Where would I put in a bucket? have a hole in it. I didn't think this far ahead. It's burning my skin. I don't know if it's just because it's really bad gas or if it's just that cold. So I'm using the bucket with a hole in it. That doesn't fit under it. Didn't spill a whole lot, but now my hands are really cold. That gas is nasty. I'm gonna be spraying out the fuel lines with a lot of brake clean, so I'm not sure. Yeah, you can't really see that, but once I'm d done pouring that out, I'm gonna show you the gas. It's nasty. It's like brown, brownish orange. So, yeah, I just pulled the gas cap off it, just twisted off. It's just kind of pressed in here with the rubber bushing. So that was pretty easy to get out. There's a lot more in here than I thought it was. It looked almost completely empty. But once I get this taken out, I'm going to flush the 
um, fuel lines break clean. Gonna take the gas tank home, and I bought some marbles and a bunch of other just random cleaning stuff I can use. And I'm just gonna mix, mix a concoction into the gas tank, um, swash it all around, and, um, yeah, try to get it all cleaned out so I can reuse it, since it's not rusted through or anything like that. I do gotta take out the fuel level sensor thing, since I don't want to get that all messed up. Well, this tank is draining. I'm gonna try to get the fuel level sensor out. So I got a flathead screwdriver. I think that's what's needed. I'm gonna use pliers actually to pry up the little tabs. I think what I'm going to need to do is pound out a couple little areas. Got a bunch of junk around here that I don't want falling into the tank, so I have extra stuff to clean out. That should be good. Oh wait, I think I know what I do. I put a screwdriver on this tab and pound it. Moved a little bit, it keeps falling off. Just after a lot of prying, it's finally out. I don't know where to go from here. Oh yeah, that's just, that's nasty in there. Not sure if you can see that. That's bad. It smells so bad. <laughs> That's just all just nasty stuff. This thing completely seized. I'm not sure if I can get it. Oh, it, it moves kind of. It's moving a little better now. I got to clean all this stuff up. I also need a new gasket for here. I'm going to reinstall it without the gasket. Um, Maybe I can reuse it just a little bit, but I'm definitely going to have to replace it. This is about half full, so it's probably about a half gallon of gas that was in it. Now to get the um, gas tank out, it's kind of stuck in here. So I need to go on the other side, and there's a hose clamp to take off the filler neck. That took way longer than I thought it should. Time to remove the tank. Should come right out now.
get the gas can to pour a little more gas into. And it's pretty much empty. Take a look at how nasty this gas is. It's black. Let me pour a little bit out here so you can see it. Like, it's not supposed to be black. But, yeah, I'm going to spray out the fuel line now. I'm actually going to disconnect it from the front. From the carburetors and everything. So that, um... Like, it doesn't just blow all the junk into them. So I'm going to do that real quick. Now, time to blow out the, get the fuel lines. I hate working in gloves. It makes everything so difficult. Kind of difficult for me to get it in that hole since it's really tiny. I'm gonna go to the front again, the front of the car.